Hey starters, welcome to the John O Show. I'm your host, John O. We are back with my friend Jeff from The Vape Co. And Jeff is very tall. He is? Six foot six. And I am five foot six. So I have five questions for a very tall person. Yeah. So Jeff, before we begin, tell us a little about the Vape Co. Well, the Vape Co is a uh, vaporizer manufacturer based in Chandler, Arizona, and we uh, manufacture uh, concentrate vaporizers uh, and also have a full uh, product line of dab gear and dab accessories. Nice, very cool. So here are my five questions for a very tall person. So in my mind, you know, Americans from the Civil War, from, from uh, the Revolutionary War to about the Civil War, really never got above six foot. Like, okay. Abraham Lincoln was just unbelievably tall compared to everybody else. Um, most people were five foot six and under. So most of America, and really most of the world, is built for small people. Airlines. Yes. The worst. I can't even imagine. I know how difficult it is for me, and I am somewhat proportionate where my legs are almost equivalent to my torso. Generally, one is taller than the other, or, you know, it works that way. You're, you're also kind of semi-exact, where your torso is the same proportion to your legs. Your I'd legs say. may be a little bit taller. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm uncomfortable on an airline. I can't imagine you're six foot six. Yeah, I mean, on most you know mass transportation in general, it's an issue, but especially on, on airlines for sure. Uh, there are a couple of airlines, which I guess I can't mention, uh, so I won't, but they, uh, their standard seats, I have just enough room you know, that I can sit there and it's, you know, I'm comfortable. Right. Most other airlines, the standards, I mean, almost every other airline I think I've ever been on, um, you know, I can't sit in economy because it's just, you know, my knees are like crushed. Right. Yeah. And you, that's before you, they I, even put the seat back. You right. Know? And so you wind up pushing, you're putting your legs out onto the aisle. Well, right? I have done that. But yeah. then you have like the beverage carts right. that come. So like if right. I fall asleep like that, they're going to like oh, you know, my kick goodness. my legs in the ass. So then you, you're really one of those per people that always has to upgrade to those exit seats. Well, like, yes. I mean, regardless of what airline I'm on, I always try to do that. Right. Um, even if it's the ones with even the, the ones slightly better leg room. But right. I always try to book on those, you know, airlines, be, you know, because if I don't get the exit seat, then at least I know, you know, I'll probably be okay. Right. Um, do you ever, like, upgrade to first class to try to get more leg room? If the, that, if the whole place is booked? I like, would if I had the means yeah, to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. It's very, it's very expensive. So, yeah. But so, bulkhead works too, though. So I'll ask, you know, if there's no exit uh, seats left, then I'll ask for uh, bulkhead. But those usually what, what, go uh, what does bulkhead mean? It's like the front of the plane. Oh, you know, it's oh, like the first row. Yes. So, yes. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes they'll have another section, you know, and then it's like the first row. Question two. Beds. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is, see, this is just a fascinating topic to me because I'm very comfortable in my bed. Uh -huh. I'm five foot six. Right. If I was even five foot eight, my head and then the way that my feet lay, I would be touching end to end. Mm -hmm. You're six foot six. Like, what do you do? Well... So, you know, a queen size bed, which is what I have, is uh, pretty good, actually. I mean, if, if I, you know, if my um, head is at like the very head of the bed, my feet don't stick off, uh, you know, the end of the bed. Right. So, so it's, it's just enough room, basically, right. the, the queen size mattress. Right, but as you um, move around at night, you must, like your leg must fall off the bed. Well, I don't move a lot, uh, you don't around really, a lot. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I'm actually maybe, lucky in that. Well, maybe in that you've regard. trained your body to not not do that. That's entirely possible. Yeah, that's entirely possible. But so now that's a queen size bed. Yeah. Like anything else, like uh, if you're staying at a friend's place and it's a queen size, they say it's a queen size mattress, but it's a fold out, which right. is really smaller yeah. than that. If you're you can't do a twin, you can't. No, nothing no. like that. No. Wow. And, when and futons are sometimes a problem because they have like, 
you know, the, the armrests oh, at yeah. the end. Yeah. And so, but you could at least curl that, your legs up a little bit and that's sleep true. sideways, that's right? True. Most hotels are queen size beds, though, so that's okay. I think so. Yeah, that's yeah. been that's been right. Yeah, 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 yeah. King, queen or king size. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I mean, sometimes if you say you're six six, they may have pity and actually give you a king size bed. Oh, yeah. Have you? Has that happened to you? Yeah, a couple times. Yeah. Do you say, so? Do sometimes people look at you and they know that? Would you say? Would you say that you going through life is a little harder because of your size than uh, than it is for me? You know, I I've had. Uh, conversations with people about this and I think you know I, I think that there's probably give and take in, in both right, you know, there's, I think right there's, there's, a, there's certain things that are hard for me to do right right and certainly people that are smaller than me it's harder to do um, I can always you know I think of always like the, the huge Chevy trucks okay right Get, like getting into one of those trucks yeah. it looks like a, it's like a well, you need a ladder act. to get to the to the ladder. Stool. I need, to, right. Right. I need yeah. to the yeah. ladder to get to the ladder. <laughs> right. You know, and 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 that's probably the biggest, the, like right off the top of my head, is that I have made such an ass of myself, both getting into and getting out of trucks. I used to work for a, a propane company that will go unmentioned, a propane mm. company where you know every once in a while I had to kind of drive with the drivers. Mm. And there, you're now. You're really on a truck. Yeah. You're on an explosive truck. You're on a truck, and you have to, you know, lift yourself up. And yeah. it's such a, such a complete embarrassment. Mm -hmm. But other, like, other, like, just Toyota trucks or Chevy trucks, you know, you know, getting your body into them at five foot six is not easy. Yeah, I would assume that that's much easier for you. For sure. But on the opposite end of things, I actually, believe it or not, um, in high school, I valeted, like, I parked cars. Right. And so I had to get into, small you know, and out of a lot of cars, some of them, which are, you know, very small. Right. And, and, you know, there were times when, like, I put the seat all the way back, which I had to do. I felt kind of bad. You know, people don't like their seats messed yep. with. Yep. Um, but, you know, I put the seat all the way back. And, you know, my, like, knees are still, like, pressed up against the steering wheel. Amazing. So I have, like, limited range of motion for my hands. <laughs> Plus I am, like, dealing with the friction against my legs. And, right. like, you know, I can't move my knee back that much. You know, if I want to like switch between the gas right, and the brake. Right, you have a, a long, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Question four. Because of your size, do people look better or worse? And here's, You mean like from my perspective? Yes. From this perspective, do from people your, look and, better and, or and, worse? Uh, let, me, let me give you very specific here. Okay. Bald spots mm -hmm. and double chins. Right. So my theory is, is that when you're talking to me, you don't see my double chin. Correct. But somebody who is smaller than me, is that's that's the first thing that they see on me, right? I suppose. I mean, that, that does make sense. When you so when you when you see people, I mean, I think you're seeing it at a completely different angle. I, I am, and actually, when I was growing up, you know, I mean, people would say like, "How tall do you think that person is?" And I couldn't tell. You know, everybody could usually tell because you know, if they knew that they were you know five six, five seven, five eight, like here's a person who's like. A little bit, you know, taller, right. a little bit shorter. Right. You know, for me though, I'm just Everyone looking at the top shorter. of everybody's. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like I had no frame of reference. <laughs> so everybody, like, everybody's just short. Right. I'm just, right. <laughs> I'm just like I have no idea. Everybody's down there. Like I didn't measure distance, right. you know, from my eye line to the top of their head. Right. Like because right. you know, I, I even wouldn't know, even know what that is. Right. What that like, is exactly. Question four. In high school. I had this theory of hip to lip ratios that okay. that people could only really date people that were that there was a semi normalcy between the person's hip and their and the other person's lips. Okay. Do you find that? Is it what has is it difficult? Well, I guess the the general question is is it harder dating when you're 6 foot 6 or are women attracted to that particularly, right? Or, you know, do you find that just some people that you've dated are just too short? Um, well, to answer the first question, uh, I do think that height, you know, uh, play, you know, is a factor in, in somebody's attractiveness. I, I do think that. Right. Uh, you know, uh, there have been a lot of people that have, you know, just been almost like fascinated with, with the tallness, you know, and right. I think that that can sometimes translate, you know, to, to attraction. Interesting. Um, so, yeah. 
I am very unattractive. No, no. I am very unattractive. I said it's a factor. Yeah. I said it's a factor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, do, uh, but, but, but when, when, you're, when you're kind of, how, how tall is your wife? Uh, she is, um, how tall is she? She's 5'7". Um, she's 5'7". Okay, so she, for a woman. I'm sorry, she's 5'5". Five, five. She's 5'5". Five, five. <laughs> There's a big difference. There's a big difference. So the shortest person that I've ever dated um, was 5'1". And I don't even have to ask this question because I've, 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 we've talked about this before. The air quality is much better up where you are. <laughs> there is a lot less farting going that's what, on. <laughs> I mean, there, that's fair enough to say, I suppose. Um, but, you know, the other thing is... Well, when I saw you at that event, that was very loud. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, I could barely hear you because there's so much distance, you right. know, between. You know, most people are like down here talking to each other. Right. And it's like if my sort of like the area I'm talking between to your chest. Yeah, but the area between my chest and my stomach. If they had ears, then yeah. I could participate in the conversation. <laughs> um, but but since I don't, um, you know, I basically just stand there, and if I happen to get, you know. A little bit of something, I'll try to jump in. Because, right. like, it's the only opportunity right. I have. Right. Question five clothing. Yes. I would assume, you know, at six foot six, you're beyond the six foot one kind of master cutter type. Right. Right. So, you know, there's all of these different sizes that mm -hmm. are kind of generic, right? I am, I am like an inch taller or shorter between like there is no there is no five foot six um, gene. There is like a five foot eight and there's like a five foot four. Okay. <laughs> so like I can either like, you know, double cuff or I could just wear like sailor type outfits, right? <laughs> so there is so I either have to kind of get them hemmed. And I would assume that like for six foot six, like you're do you have to shop in like the big and tall like section? Thankfully Oh, in the big and tall section, well, not, not really. Not the store, not like okay. the double XL store. That's, I mean, there are that's very something few, else. There right. are very few. Um, like, take a suit, for instance. Yeah. Well, I mean, a suit could be tailored, though. Um, and but most, you've got to start from somewhere. Yeah, but I mean, like, okay, so the main thing being tall, well, at least with me, yeah. okay, it's pants. Well, and shoes, too, but pants. Because you your, your shoe size is? 15. Well, it depends on the, it depends on the brand, actually. I can <laughs> So you literally have double the double the length of, of foot that I have. Seriously? Yeah, I'm, eight and, and I'm, eight, I'm an eight and a half. All right. So, so in I'm some brands, in some brands, I can go up to like a sixteen or even a seventeen. Now, of course, you as six foot six, if you had an eight foot shoe, you'd have a big problem. Right. That would, yeah. that would be <laughs> that would be a problem. That's a. Um, um, but the pants, though, like okay. with the suit, you can always there's always enough room that you can like you know let right. it out. It's more jeans, you know, other like sort of more ready to wear stuff, I guess you right, would say, right. you know, they're a problem. Right. Um, and sort of like you made that uh, comment about, you know, between um, five, four and five, eight, yeah. you know, that's like nothing in there. I kind of feel it's the same way being six, six, because, you know, I'm so Beyond, tall, right. I'm, be I'm, I'm so tall on the regular spectrum, but I'm kind of like borderline on the tall spectrum. Like, you know, I'm a, I'm a shorter, very tall person. No, no, um, no, 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 no. Yeah, no, it's, there are, listen, there are not that many six foot eight, six foot nine people walking around. Well, but I'm saying, though, when you go to the big and tall stores, <laughs> oh, right, oh, yeah, that's yeah. where you get into, like, more of that right, size. Right, So, right. you know, if I'm, uh, if I'm shopping, like, the extremes of those things, it's like the ready-to-wear stuff doesn't generally go that high. Right. And the big and tall stuff doesn't generally go that low. So wow. I'm also in this sort of, like, weird, yeah, you know, uh, area. You're too tall for the average tallness. Yes. And you're too short for the taller talls. Right. The taller talls. This has been a ridiculous conversation. <laughs> Thank you for watching. As always, please share this with your friends on social media and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. If you'd like to watch the unedited version of this show, and I'm not necessarily sure if any of this is going to be that much unedited. I think we're going to put up most of it. Uh, but you can become a member at our Patreon page for $4.20 a month. Thank you. Bye.